Hello everyone, welcome back. This is more Jet Set Radio Future. We're nearing the end of this epic, incredible game. So I just, I will not talk for the rest of this cutscene. So yeah, enjoy the cutscene. Enjoy it. Alright, so finally after that freaking boring cutscene, I mean, they made it way longer than it needs to be, that one. So yeah, now we've got to tag us tag on zero beats. Now, when I was younger playing this game, I thought there was two of them. And beat zero and zero beat. I do not know why, because I swear there was some kind of text saying zero beat and beat zero, but I must be wrong. No, Goji, you're wrong. So yeah, I always found the last levels of Jet Grand Radio and Jet Set Radio Future kind of scary. I mean, the music is kind of freaky, and it freaking looks like the end of the world. There's like a freaking black eclipse sun. It's all dark. Everyone's running around, even though they do that anyway. But. I just found it kind of creepy. So yeah, these these guys are pretty tricky at first, but they go the same way every time. So you just get used to their where you just get used to their routes they take or routes, and it's pretty simple. And yes, you can see they're going the same way. So. It's pretty simple. There's quite a lot of um, graffiti cans anyway, so you won't be having trouble with graffitis or anything. And if you do run out of graffitis, there's a, a hell of a lot of blue cans down there. So just if you need, in need of any, just go down that row and you'll have like 30, instant 30 graffiti cans. So graffiti is not a problem which is always good in a boss fight and actually I think this is the only boss fight on the Xbox 360 backwards compatibility version that isn't in some way glitched
And it's really annoying how they go right up to Chua Street. I'm not sure if you can actually go to Chua Street accidentally during this uh, boss fight. But it's kind of annoying how they do that. So there's the other one right there. Being a little smart ass and grinding around. So hopefully we can take him out during now. Yes, we can. Awesome. And as you can see, I went as beat since it's... Well, it's freaking beat. He's on the freaking cover of the game and he's the main character. And he's uh, JSRF Tube's favorite character, so I decided to... So yeah, that's the end of this incredible epic game. And here you see why it's called Jet Set Radio Future. <laughs> yeah, boy. Welcome to the new Jet Set Radio. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I think I'm a caller. Yeah, Jet Set Radio Future. Oh my God, he said the title of the game. The future is one big blank sweat, yo. And it's something you to decide what goes on. And the text is incredibly delayed from when DJ Professor K is actually speaking, which isn't really a big problem. What is this? What? I thought we completed the game. What? What is this? What? What is? What's going on? I'm scared. No, it doesn't. It belongs in a museum. So yeah, here's the final, final boss. Who is Akumu. Which is kind of a weird name, but whatever. So yeah, this... I really didn't like this the first time around, but it's kind of fun. Also takes a, quite a lot of trial and error to get this down perfectly. Since with that bit, you didn't even know that that wall ride was coming, so... Because the camera angle is just so retarded on this level. But this isn't the only way you can go. You can go, I think, two other ways. I'm not sure about the second one, but I'm pretty sure there is two ways to get up here. I think there's a staircase or something to get up here. But yeah, basically what you gotta do with this boss is boost dash into him once, and... Oh crap, I can't believe I fell off right there. Be right back, I'm gonna get ahead. Alright, I have to pretend that I actually played, since I'm actually doing a post commentary since, um, I was gonna get guests for this one, but I don't know, I just didn't like it when I had guests. I think I'll only do guests when there's actually, like, nothing really to do, like before with that train boss, I mean... He's quite a major boss, but it's just really boring and repetitive, and my voice would be make it even more boring. So yeah, basically what, he, what you gotta do is just spray paint at the front of him while he's standing up, which is kinda strange. So first, take a boss while he's standing up. So basically, when he does this move, all you gotta do is just keep circling around him. I mean, simple enough. You probably won't get hit with this move since it goes really, really slow. And I'm just gonna go back down to get some graffiti cans, so I'll be right back. Whoa, okay, we're back. Even though I'm still recording from when I was before. And there we go, we've just taken him. In under 10, 11 minutes. That's what you get for smoking, biatch. 
kids, don't do smoking or you'll end up like Goji. Old and crazy, I guess. See you later! <laughs> Sayonara!